morning kids uh, so it's uh, disc maintenance day today I'm trying to replace a a faulty uh, Seagate Iron Wolf Pro 10 terabyte NAS disc um, the problem with this disc specifically is that uh, when connected to the drive controller in my server and I'll show you that in a second it uh, has a professional HBA controller in it it's producing uncorrectable errors. Um, usually every week it will fault my entire RAID 6 uh, ZFS array. Um, I'd replaced one of these before and it fixed the problem. And I had a problem with a second set of one, one drive out of a second set of drives that I purchased, same problem. So I know that the, the problem that this drive was having um, is the same problem that an older set of drives was having with one drive out of a set of four. So it's a, it was a batch problem. Um, when I buy drives, I typically don't buy them all at once. So I'll buy um, a set of four or, or a set of two or something, right? And, you know, we'll get, uh, get them at different times. So there's a good chance that they're different manufacturing dates. Um, this drive, however... If you tried to scan it uh, with uh, Seagate C tools, it took 17 hours to scan it, uh, but it passed along generic scan. So I think C tools can't detect the um, the problem with this drive, uh, but ZFS and a uh, SAS three uh, LSI like you know HPA controller is capable of doing that. Um, and uh, and preventing the problem that those that, that problems that that issue would cause. So anyhow, so I got a replacement drive from Seagate finally uh, after waiting an extra month, I think. And uh, you know, I plugged it or plugged it all into my server. And um, once I plugged it all in, the drive this this drive here, the new one didn't show up. Uh, you can see that it's still in the drive caddy. And uh, I had no idea why. I hadn't power tested it before. Figured out, I'll just plug it in to work. The old one that I replaced worked um, previous to this. And uh, after doing that twice and reconnecting the cable, still the same problem. Uh, two different Linux distributions. The main one I usually run and um, a live CD. I use it to, to do maintenance. Anyhow, uh, so let's turn this on. This is my desktop PC. It's pretty good. Uh, nothing terribly fancy. Um, 6 Gen 9 Intel i5. Really good motherboard. Asus motherboard. Uh, reliable. And uh, listen to this drive when I turn it on. This is this is a brand brand new out of the box, or supposedly, or or RMA replacement. It, it pretty much looks really new. You can see she's an Iron Wolf Pro, and there's there's the serial number as well. This drive has failed. It's dead on arrival. Hopefully you can hear this drive. Oh, there it goes. Doesn't that sound great? It doesn't show up in Windows or Linux and it just sits there seeking and seeking and seeking. Thanks, UPS. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe shipping damage from being mishandled. But, uh, yeah. So, Seagate's getting this drive back. I'm going to put my other drive back in temporarily, and that'll not really resolve my problem, but at least it won't be as bad as this. Hey, look at look at this. That's that's my Linux install booting up. Oh, and that's my Linux install that usually works perfectly is trying to contact and communicate with that disk on the CD3 port. Com reset, com reset errors. I meant to boot into Windows, but this is just beautiful. Yeah. So you can get duds, I understand, but uh it's uh, not something that happens frequently. And under other circumstances, if this had happened where the drive was completely dead and 
and somebody hadn't used RAID 6 and uh, a drive had died completely, well, you might be, you know, upset. They just they, they just gave up trying to communicate with the disk, and it, it's still still doing its thing. There's no drive lights or anything you could see, but yeah. Anyways, so I got to give this video to Seagate, and uh, yeah, ship them this drive back, and demand that they send me one that works. What can you do? Oh well, that was Monday.